What's up you guys? My name's Natalie and welcome to my channel. If you are new, hello. I'm so happy to have you here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, I love you guys so much. You mean the world to me. So thank you so much for popping on this video. Today I have something super excited to talk about and that is going to be my self tan routine. You might be like, um, Natalie, the weather is getting cold. What are you, what are you talking about? That's like the perfect time to have self-tanner. That's when the sun is not out. You're not spending a bunch of time outside. And you know, in the winter, who wouldn't want to be tan? I just think it's nice. Now I'm not saying pale skin is bad um, or anything like that. I think it's beautiful on so many people. I just feel more confident with a tan. So don't think if you're not tan um, that I'm hating on you or anything like that. I think people like that are beautiful. For me, I just personally like myself better with a little bit of color. So I'm gonna be showing you my tanning routine today and I'm so excited to talk to you about the products I use and that is Loving Tan. They are based in Australia and I absolutely love their products. I'm so grateful that they reached out to me. I've been using their products before they even reached out to me so just know that it's a really really good company and I definitely 100% recommend them. Even before they reached out to me I had a self tan routine, an old one, using their products and it's my absolute favorite tanner in the whole entire world. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to talk to you about the products I use. So for my tanner, I use the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, Instant Bronze Self Tanner and Moisturizer. It's professional strength, quick dry, and has that natural olive color to it. And this is in the shade Ultra Dark. I love this stuff. This is amazing, you guys. It's really great about this is it has DHA and also erythrolose, which I believe is... Um, I think that's how I said it. I said it right, I believe. Um, but this eliminates orange tones. So the problem with other self tanners is they only contain DHA and not the erythrolose, which um, when you have a buildup of DHA, that's what calls that, causes that orangey tones because there's a buildup of it. But the erythrolose in Loving Tan helps cancel out those orange tones, which is really nice. What's really nice is it has a color guide. So that's when you put on the self tan, you can immediately see it go on. That helps me know where I'm placing my tan at. So so I can evenly distribute it and everything like that. So I really, really, really appreciate that. And it doesn't have that gross, nasty, like fake tan smell that a lot of them have that are really strong. So what I love about these bad boys right here, their mousses, is that they stay on for such a long time. I think it's like 10 days and they are seriously so good. They're waterproof. They are meant to last. What really helps is putting on moisturize, moisturizer um, because if your skin gets dry, then it can flake off. So always keep your skin hydrated to keep your tan lasting a very long time i apply this self tanner with the application mitt oh my gosh can you see the stuff i used on it i think i used the this is from the shimmer so i'll talk about that later just keep that in mind let's turn this way <laughs> so this applicator mitt is really nice i don't have any troubles with this mitt and i actually prefer it over the other ones i have there's like no creases in it which is really really nice and it puts the color on very smooth so so next, I'm gonna be talking about their next product, which is their Gradual Tan. And for people who are not super comfortable using like the mousses or anything like that, this would be a great option for you. This is what it looks like. So this is their Gradual Tan. What's really great about this is, I got this in shade dark. It's a natural olive, olive, olive color, again, enriched with antioxidants, and it's buildable for daily use. So you can put this on every single day and continue to build it up like a lotion. What I also love to do with this is put this over my mousse um, as a lotion and that makes my tan last even longer so if you have the mousse I would definitely recommend getting this because it will help it's a lotion so you want to lotion your skin every day and it also has the gradual tinted body gradual tan so it's a tinted body lotion so your tan will last longer what's really cool about this it has coffee extract which is good for anti-aging and cellulite so like I said definitely apply this with the applicator mitt as well okay you guys this next thing is my absolute favorite product of loving tan i never knew about this before they reached out to me and well i think i've heard of it but i never bought it and i'm so happy they sent this to me this is deluxe face tan tinted self tanning cream natural color enriched with green tea pomegranate and acai and this is in the shade dark you guys 
It's my new holy grail. And the hard thing about the foams or the mousses is they tend to break me out. So this is really great because it's designed specifically for your skin. What's really great is it's lightweight. It takes only two hours to develop so you can wash it off right after. And you can also build this up as well. And I like to apply this with a makeup brush and sometimes I just use my fingertips and just make sure to wash my hands after. This is, <laughs> this next product is also a game changer. I love this stuff. This is the Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. It's an instant color satin finish and it has a natural glow oh my gosh this is stuff is so beautiful this is also a quick dry and is buildable so i think it yeah on here i use the applicator mitt and you just leave it on for 60 seconds leave it on for 60 seconds and let it dry before you build up again this stuff is amazing this is what it looks like it gives you a nice glowy shimmery finish makes your pictures look beautiful i absolutely love this stuff this is again what, this whole stuff everything in here is my favorite and i absolutely love it and this is seriously my holy grail i would not recommend something to you guys that i didn't absolutely love and i've used this stuff before which is really amazing and i love it so 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 much i'm wearing it right now it's very natural I think it's great and I think you guys should check it out. Now to uh, remove your self tan if you want to remove it if it's becoming you know wearing off they have the Loving Tan Exfoliator Polishing Mitt. Um, I love this. I All you do is you just get it wet when you're in the shower and let your skin soak for like five minutes and then you take this to your skin. I use the black side. It's a little more rough. I do have like very bumpy skin so I can use a bit more exfoliation um, but the pink side is a little bit more gentle so so this is really great. I love this thing. It works amazingly. So you can use my code Natalie Wood to receive a free mitt with any gradual tan or mousse that you purchase at lovingtan.com. I'll have that all linked down below in the information for you. I definitely recommend you go check it out because it's absolutely amazing and I'm obsessed. I have loved them for a very long time like I've said. So again, my code is Natalie Wood, no spaces, all capital. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I do my self tan routine. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be sharing my tanning routine with you guys. And the first thing I like to do is I put a robe on if I'm by myself and I really wouldn't, but for video purposes, I'm going to. And I like to be in a place where there's a lot of natural lighting. That way I can see what's going on. And I also like to have a mirror. So right in front, Hey guys, there's a mirror right here to show me exactly what I'm doing. So first I start off just by moisturizing my dry spots. So like my hands, my elbows, my knees, and my ankles since those are the ones that are the most dry. And I just use the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. Love this stuff. So again, touching on the ankles, the wrists, the elbows, knees, all that. So I already did that. So the first spot I like to go to um, is to do my legs. And the tan I'm going to be using, of course, is by Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. And this is in Ultra Dark. So I'm very excited to use this and show you guys how I use it. And I'm also going to be using the Deluxe Face Tan. I love this stuff. It's a game changer and this is in the shade Dark. So very excited for that. Before we even get to tanning, the first thing you want to do is I like to, the night before, is I like to shower and I like to shave my legs and I like to exfoliate and I exfoliate using the Loving Tan Exfoliating Mitt and I actually use the black side. I think it's more rough than the pink but I feel like it works the best to help get your leftover tan off um, and that way, you know, your skin's exfoliated, exfoliated the dead skin cells are gone you can shave your legs and you have a smooth finish so this is like my new best friend i love this this is amazing and i definitely recommend this and getting it with your tan if you order some of loving tans products so i definitely recommend this you always want to exfoliate you want to shave your legs and you want to do it the night before because if you like do it an hour or two before tanning your pores are going to be open and that tan might sink into your pores i always have a problem with that but you know what in the end it always still looks good um but you just want to minimize that as much as you can so first again the night before i'll exfoliate and i will lotion my legs after i get out of the shower so i'm first going to stir on my legs like i said and i'm going to be using the loving tan application mitt and the loving tan bronzing mousse in the shade ultra dark three pumps for each section of my leg on the lower and then distribute it up to the top as well 
and I'm avoiding my ankles and my knee area because I want to hit that last because those are the ones that really absorb the product. And then once I've really got it buffed into my lower shin and calf area, then I'll start blending it down into my feet with the leftover product that's on and then up to my knee. So then again, going up to the upper thigh, three pumps. I don't know if you can see but already huge difference i do have underwear guys on but um pale tan and it will continue to develop and get darker so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do the other leg now so i am now gonna be moving on to my stomach right here i know you can't see that well but i am kind of self-conscious about my stomach and don't want to really show it off that much but i'll do the best i can but i'm also going to go into my butt and everything okay and so for my butt i do one pump for each butt cheek this is so weird you guys but i'm telling you i this stuff is the best this is my favorite tanning stuff ever you really just buff it in and i am wearing a bandeau so it's really hard to do this on camera i would recommend not wearing clothes but you know, we're not gonna flash everyone on YouTube. Oh my gosh, that's dark. And again, like I said, if you feel like it looks streaky, just keep buffing it in. But once you rinse it off, it really is a good even finish. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It really distributes really well. I just kinda do my lower back um, with one to two pumps. It's very hard. And if you have someone with you who can get your lower back and your upper back, That'd be great but i do not so a lot of the times i have like a square that just is there so now we're gonna move on i did my legs i did my stomach um, if you can kind of see and then moving on to the top because my lower half is tan and this is just pale up here so we need to figure that out so first let's start out with the arms and i do um, it depends. I do two to three pump. I find that I like to be really, really dark. So I'll do, I'll start out with two. And then if I want it to be darker, this is really good. You can build up the product. See, avoiding the elbow. Yeah. And I use what's on the pad to go on the back of my shoulders for what I can reach. And again, I'm wearing black. Um, just for this because if I were to wear white, I would be getting self-tan all over it, so. Guys, look at my chest, how pale it is compared to like the other side that's developing in this new one. You really want to avoid your elbow at first and your wrist, like I said. I'm really bad at it, but you know, I'm perfecting my tanning routine every day. I love loving tan. I've actually used this before. They were so kind to reach out to me. <laughs> and it's like my favorite self tanner so I was so excited when I heard from them. So for the chest itself, I use one pump. This is gonna be really weird. I've never done this with like a top on. I think I just got some on my thumb. Wow, this looks so different on camera than it looks in real life. I don't know why it looks kind of patchy on camera. There we go. Chest done. Moving on to the neck, my neck does not take very well to self-tanner, so I'm going to take a makeup brush and I'm going to put one pump on there. Just go on my neck. I don't know why, but my chest has a very hard time locking tan in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good off camera. I swear, sometimes the camera just does it an injustice, but I'll pop in pictures. <gasps> wow! Okay. And the brush is really good at helping buff out, and then you can just... Wow, you guys, that looks so good. Look how pale my face is. Okay. Taking leftover from the brush and doing my hands. Okay, I wish you guys could see. It looks kind of patchy on camera, but it's not at all when I look in the mirror in front of me. Um, but so far, yeah, I did my legs, I did my stomach, I did my chest, my arms, my hands, just again going over with the excess so they're not completely pale. Um, and now we're gonna move on to my face and what I love. I take the Deluxe Face Tan from Loving Tan and all you do is just spread it on your fingers and put it on your face and neck 
you can blend it into your hairline and then you want to wash your hands after so usually i kind of like take a brush and i'm going to apply it on a brush and do it on my face this way that way i don't have to wash my hands um you could do this first maybe i recommend that so you could wash your hands first but i like to apply it with a brush i do a pretty good amount do this i'm looking in the mirror So then I just applied that with a makeup brush and I just really like how it blends. I get like behind my ears, my jaw, that way like there's no white spots. And this is my little routine. I'm going to go ahead and show you the clothes that I wear while my tan is developing. And I'm going to leave this on for six to eight hours. So I would sleep in this, spend the whole day in it. So for me, I'm going to spend the whole day because it's early in the morning and I'm going to wait six hours and then show you what my tan looks like. And so what I like to wear is loose baggy clothes. I'll wear full pants, maybe like a long sleeve. Um, and that way, Oh my god, you guys, I'm actually really loving it. That way I don't get my tan on anything because it can come off on your sheets. But what's really nice is that it washes out completely. I've done that before. This face stuff, if you don't have it, you need to get it. I have it in the shade dark and it's amazing. So I use ultra dark for my tan and then dark for my face tan. I'm going to go ahead, get changed, and show you from there. Okay guys, this is what I'm wearing. Just this long red <laughs> long sleeve t-shirt and these pajama shorts. They're like super baggy and loose fitting. Um, you don't want to wear anything that you really, really love because you might get self-tan on them. So yeah, while it's developing, I'm going to go ahead and stay in this all day and then come six hours, I'm going to wash this off and show you what it looks like. And I'm super excited because this is such a good product and I cannot wait to show you the results. I absolutely love this and I've been using it for what like a year now so i was so happy when they reached out to me so i will definitely let you know but yeah this is my outfit and i will see you in six hours all right you guys so i just finished i rinsed it off it's later in the day it's been six hours i think it's super natural i love it you guys it's like a really really good glow i just used the mousse in the face um but when i want to i'll add the gradual tan over like the next few days just to like really boost it up and keep it going sorry there's like a random sheet here in my room i don't know what i'm doing um and same with the shimmer if i feel like i just really need some um, shine or something on my chest i'll go ahead and put it there so this is what it looks like i'll go ahead and post my before and after pictures um i love this stuff you guys i think you guys should definitely go check it out so to get a really 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 deep color i would definitely recommend sleeping in the mousse and just wearing like what i showed you earlier in this video to sleep in so it doesn't get on your sheets or anything but that way if you want a super dark tan that will develop even longer so i definitely recommend that but i love this natural look i went for and I think it looks like really really good so I'm super happy with it definitely go check out the link in my description so I can set you guys up with a free applicator mitt if you purchase a mousse or gradual tan so here is what it looks like finished product oh my gosh these pants I swear super happy about it isn't this so funny how I have this sheet here that's just so weird I don't even know but I think it's great. I love it. I think it's such a good natural color. I'm so happy. I'm happy I can have a little bit of color in the winter because I didn't, all I used in the summer was this as well. So, you know, I love it. I think you guys should check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check my description to get that code for you guys. Again, it's Natalie Wood and you'll receive a free applicator mitt with any purchase of a gradual tan or mousse. So yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.